in any city, in any country. Go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the Holder of Loyalty. Should a proud look come over the worker's face, you are in the right place. Should the worker glare at you, run for dear life, as you were deemed unworthy by the holder of the object you seek. Do not stop for anything, as those that are after you do not know the meaning of rest, and will hunt you down relentlessly until they find you. Should you be deemed worthy by the holder, you will be taken down a hallway that wasn't there before. In many of your previous adventures, you are sure to have experienced much deception as the holders try and try to lose you and protect their items. As the worker leads you down to your destination, you must harbor no wariness to the worker's intentions. You will get what you came for if and only if you are worthy and your thoughts are pure. After following the worker for what seems like an eternity, you will come to a plain wooden door. The worker will open the door for you and leave you to be on your way. If at any time during your walk with the worker you harbored thoughts of possible deception, two blood-red eyes will stare at you from the darkness of the opened door. There is no use crying for help now for even the highest of powers are incapable of saving you. But if you were loyal to your intentions, there will be a battle taking place beyond the door. As you walk in, the door will shut itself behind you, and you will find yourself in the middle of the chaos. You will then be captured by soldiers speaking in a language that is not of this earth. There is no use resisting, as they are capable of inflicting pain that is worse than anything you can ever imagine. After they take you to their camp, you will then be accused of being a spy, and the torture will begin. At this point, they will try to make you confess, and you must conjure up all your strength and try to weather this storm. Then the soldiers will turn into all the people you have ever scammed, squandered, and betrayed. They will then continue to pound on you, not only physically, but also mentally, as they remind you of every wrong that you have ever done to them. Many give up at this stage, and now they pay for their treachery with the lowest of the damned. You must endure this until the soldier's superior officer appears. You can tell by the uniform and wolf-like creature that accompanies him, and also that the officer takes the form of the person you love the most. Once the holder reveals himself, with all your remaining energy, shout out, Would you ever suspect me? At this point, the other soldiers will stop and the commanding officer will then narrate every betrayal in history, the pain it caused, and the destruction it resulted in. He will then go on to explain the true benefits of loyalty, along with the thin and dangerous line it runs beside fanaticism. If you did not go mad before, those who are not destined to finish this journey will surely crack, at knowledge that the world will never be ready for. After the officer's story, he will then ask, Do you pledge your allegiance to him? Swiftly and with resolve, answer, I stay true only to myself. If the holder doesn't believe you, your ordeal earlier will continue. Adding to your misery, his pet wolf will gnaw on you like a tasty bone for all eternity. But if the holder believes you, he will punch you in the gut, and as your consciousness wanes, you barely hear him say, We 
will meet again. When you wake up, you will be outside the mental institution without a scratch on your body. Sleeping beside you will be the wolf-like creature that was accompanying the officer earlier. That wolf is Object 131 or 538. You dare not dream of betraying the trust it places in you.